Welcome to the Daily Challenge for November 1st, 2014. Let's begin.
I'll take it. No, I didn't get all the gold. Oh well. Yeah. Oh man, that is like one of the best items I could possibly get with this thing. Makes more enemies appear, gives me one extra damage, and kicks enemies back when I hit them. Okay, I just need to not get hit. Okay.
Oh my god, do I do it? Do I do it? Do I go for the armor? Mm, do I? I don't know if I do. Oh, motherfucker! <laughs> I shouldn't have gone for it. Right before this, by the way, right before this, I did a little bit of warm-up in um, hardcore mode. And I killed the shopkeeper with just a dagger. If you do two bombs with him, two bombs do eight damage. He has nine hit points. That leaves him with one hit point. And uh, yeah, it worked fine. Why did it not work here? Did... Hold on, where did I place the bomb? Hmm. Well, no. No, I had to place it there. I think it's because I had to go to the side and then down, and that's what made it so that he was too close to me. For me to be able to place down another bomb. It's, how does he move? It's really weird the way he moves. It's like he starts moving towards me as soon as he gets blown up. Not the turn after, yeah. And he moves diagonally, doesn't he? Didn't he move diagonally? He did move diagonally. Yeah, and he can also attack diagonally. Huh. It's really weird the way he moves. <laughs> Yeah, so you need to... Hmm, that's... That's really difficult. So since he can move diagonally, what you really need to do is you need to place the bomb and then run away in one of his cardinal directions, right? Either above, to the right, below, or directly, directly to the left. You can't go sideways or you're fucked. I don't think there's a way to do that here. I mean, if you go up, you're just going to hit the wall. If you go right, you're going to hit the wall. If you go left, you're going to hit the wall. If you go down, you won't. But the problem with that is that if you place the bomb down there below him, it would have blown up the items. I, I guess in that case, you just can't really do it. Unless you're like, tried to blow up some of the wall to make a little bit of a pathway so you can kind of run away. But I don't know. That's no, I don't think there's enough room. Huh? They certainly don't make it easy. That's a fun way to die. <laughs> What's my score going to be? Whew, number three. That's um probably mostly because it's only about a half hour after the daily challenge switched over, so... There's... Hell, there might be some people that are actually started it right about five o'clock and... Or started it right when it ticked over. It ticks over at five o'clock my time. And they're probably still going, because runs can be about a half hour long. If you get to the end. If I hadn't have gone for that shopkeeper, I would have had a much higher score than what I even have right now. I got greedy. Well, not really. To be honest, I think I've been a little bit too hesitant to kill the shopkeeper, because I did it once and I got that incredible weapon. Um, I don't remember exactly what it was, like titanium crossbow or something like that. Something, or maybe it was an obsidian crossbow. Whatever it was, it cost like a million gold and I managed to kill the shopkeeper and get it and it was like the best weapon ever. But ever since then, I don't think I've ever killed a shopkeeper in the daily challenge. It's just never seemed worth it because the stuff he has has never been good enough to be worth the risk. And frankly, I think it's worth the risk to go for that incredible armor there that costs over a thousand gold. I'm pretty sure that armor protects you from either like one and a half or two hearts worth of damage. And keep in mind, it does round up. So, for example, if something does like one heart of damage and your armor protects you from more, then it'll just round it up to half a heart of damage. So it, it never makes us that you don't take damage, but it will reduce it to half a heart. I think it was worth taking the risk for that, but now that I've done this, uh, I see that the entrance to the shop kind of needs to be horizontal, right? Like it needs to be, or even just any any position other than down. It needs to be above him, to the left of him, or to the right of him. Because I have to run away in a straight direction, and if I run away down, then that means the bomb needs to be placed down, which means the items explode, and that doesn't work out too well. Yep. Now I know. Alright, that has been the daily challenge for the 1st of November, November 1st, 2014. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.